Vice President of the Philippines, Maria Leonor Robredo, distinguished government officials, members of the Magsaysay family, members of the diplomatic corps, fellow awardees, trustees of the Ramon Magsaysay Award Foundation, ladies and gentlemen. Each year, Community and Family Services International, or CFSI, formulates a plan of action reflecting the theme for that year. The theme for 2021 is Exceed Expectations. Being named a Ramon Magsaysay awardee during this, our 40th anniversary year, was a wonderful surprise, far exceeding our wildest dreams. In fact, we still worry someone is going to come up and pinch us and say, wake up. It's just a dream. Don't do that, please. This award is for we, not just me. The rest of the we is almost entirely Asian, younger, and far more attractive, which is good for all. The existence of CFSI is a response to man's inhumanity to humankind. And I do mean man, as it is rarely women who deliberately bring about such harm to other persons. Discrimination, violence, and persecution continue to force people to flee their countries, resulting in refugees in various parts of the world, including within Asia and from Asia. In addition, injustice, armed conflict, and disaster lead to lost lives, physical and psychological suffering, and persons displaced within their own country, sheltering in forests, evacuation centers, transitory facilities, anywhere but where they truly want to be, which is home. Most of the people served by CFSI have been forcibly displaced, some repeatedly, within their homelands or across national borders. Some have been denied citizenship, becoming stateless in the land that has long been their home as well as the home of their ancestors. While refugees and internally displaced persons are resilient and have many strengths, it must be very clear. Forced displacement is harmful and painful. We believe such vicious assaults on the lives, well-being, and dignity of children, women, and men must come to an end now. Although our roles may differ, we believe it is the responsibility of all to address human suffering wherever it is found, to protect our brothers and sisters from harm, and to promote the universality of human rights. We also believe it is their collective responsibility to invest in disaster risk management and climate change adaptation to prevent forced displacement. The people of CFSI come from diverse backgrounds, including different races, ethnic groups, religions, sexual orientations, experiences, and stations in life. We are, like you, part of the family that is humanity. Numbering in the thousands over 40 years, with most locally recruited, we have a common purpose, rebuilding lives. Specifically, protecting people from further harm, getting children in safe spaces and back to school, enabling crisis-affected communities to access basic services like food, water, shelter, and health care, including vaccinations. Rebuilding lives also means facilitating the resumption of livelihood activities and the development of new skills, the reconstruction of community infrastructure, fostering safe returns home, and promoting social justice. Our approach is needs-based, rights-oriented, empowering, and focused on solutions. 
Our work has benefited millions with operations in 10 countries, territories over different periods of time. These include the Philippines, Myanmar, Vietnam, Hong Kong, Cambodia, Indonesia, Timor-Leste, Thailand, Malaysia, and Papua New Guinea. In addition, outreach efforts to many more countries. Our current top priorities are expanding ongoing humanitarian operations in Myanmar and the Philippines. The work is challenging and sometimes dangerous, but we are inspired by the resiliency, the courage, and the efforts of the affected populations. Think about the Vietnamese boat people who 30 years after resettlement in other parts of the world raised half a million dollars for Filipinos displaced by super typhoon Haiyan. Grateful for the help given at the time, these Vietnamese gave back without waiting to be asked to help. Think about Timor-Leste, the new country that emerged from the ashes of violence just two decades ago, now working with its much larger neighbor, Indonesia, to create a shared future for the youth. Or those in Myanmar helping to protect and assist communities affected by per persecution, violence, and the pandemic. Think about the brave souls throughout Asia, both near and far, who have stood up, are standing up, for the rights, well-being, and dignity of others. Indeed, at cost only they know, which could include their lives. And think about those working year after year to build a just and lasting peace in war-torn Mindanao, helping children learn that arms are for hugging. What now for CFSI? We are firmly committed to working in partnership over the long haul with a range of stakeholders, especially affected communities and local actors, to provide humanitarian and development assistance, help build peace, prevent disasters, and promote social justice in Asia. This includes capacity strengthening efforts where necessary or advantageous. We ask for your help to do much more better. Concretely, to strengthen local capacity. We want to see at least another 500 persons in Southeast Asia obtain a master's degree in social work and at least 10 with a doctoral degree in the same field by the year 2027. The aim is to ensure highly competent and committed social workers are prepared to lead humanitarian development and peace building efforts in the future, helping to bring an end to forced displacement. Let us together enable more ordinary people to do and have extraordinary impact. On the personal level, I would like to thank profusely and express my deep, deep gratitude to the Board of Trustees of the Ramon Max Isai Award Foundation for recognizing my work, but more importantly, the work of CFSI. I would also like to thank, as well as hug, my family, loved ones, colleagues, friends, and supporters. None of what I have achieved in life would have been possible without you, each playing a unique role that combined made all the difference. In addition to my dear colleagues at CFSI, I'd like to thank the members of our Board of Trustees, both present and past, for your many years of voluntary service, your trust, your guidance, your support. Lastly, my thanks to our partners, the communities, those who serve with us in the humanitarian and development arenas, and those who provide us with the funds required to carry out our work. Your acceptance and your support have been and remain crucial, more so as we, encouraged by this award, move forward together in rebuilding lives. A parting thought. Many have asked what has kept me going in this work for more than 40 years and counting. Quite frankly, I believe every person is a holy place. 
meaning there is something of the divine in each of us. This, my brothers and sisters, is the basis for my firm conviction that we are indeed members of the same family, humanity.